Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will see the angle of contact. So let's consider a solid surface. Okay. And water is touching this solid surface. Now what happens is that due to the surface tension a molecule which is present over here it is touching the water molecules as well as the solid molecules. It will experience a force by the solid molecules as well as this water molecules. Now a force experienced on this molecule due to the solid will be in the horizontal direction and a force experienced on this molecule due to the water molecules will be at an angle of 45 degree to the solid surface. Let's name this molecule to be A and this force to be AP and this force to be AQ. Now due to these various forces the water makes different types of angles with the solid like some sometimes it might make this angle or sometimes it makes this angle or sometimes it might just stay flat. This angle of water with the solid is known as the angle of contact. Now this angle of contact depends on different cases. Let's understand the first case. So in the first case what happens is that the liquid partially wets the solid. So this is our solid. And let's consider a molecule which is situated over here. Now this molecule is touching both the water as well as solid. But we are considering a case where it is partially wetting the solid. Therefore the force experienced on this molecule by the solid will be greater than the force experienced on this molecule by the liquid. So this force will be bit smaller. Now here we have to draw a resultant of both these forces. Let's extend this resultant ahead. Now if you draw a perpendicular to this resultant what will you will get is that the angle made by water with this solid. So in the case where the water partially weights the solid you will get this type of angle made by the liquid with the solid. Another case is where the liquid does not weight the solid. So again we have to consider a wall over here uh, sorry a solid surface over here. Now a molecule which is situated over here this molecule is touching both the water molecules as well as the liquid molecules. We are considering a case where it is not wetting the solid. Okay. In this scenario the force experienced on this molecule due to the water molecules will be greater than the force experienced on this molecule due to the solid molecule. So let's draw these forces. Here this one is smaller guys. Same way you have to draw a resultant of these two forces. Okay, now just extending this force in the upward direction, we have to draw a perpendicular to this resultant. So after drawing the perpendicular to this resultant, you will get an angle made by this water with the solid. So first you got 
somewhat this angle that is steep downwards and in this angle the uh, water is moving upwards that is the angle is in the upward obtuse type angle okay now there is one more case where the liquid completely wets the solid in this scenario what happens is that we are consider a solid over here now we are completely okay this liquid is now completely wetting the solid so the force it is obvious that a force experienced by the solid will be much more greater on this molecule and the force experienced by this liquid water molecules which is very 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 small and hence it is neglected so automatically this becomes our resultant okay so this is our resultant now and if we draw a perpendicular to this we get somewhat very 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 steep angle made by the water with the solid now let's understand the different characteristics of this angle of contact so for a, any given solid or liquid or air molecules this angle of contact will remain the same suppose you are considering a cotton cloth and a kerosene the angle of contact will always remain the same and another is that the value of angle of contact depends upon nature of liquid and solid in contact so greater the merging takes place greater will be the angle of contact means it will vary continuously here the completely uh, here the water is completely uh, wetting the liquid uh, wetting the solid so therefore the angle is different in another case where the partially wetting of liquid solid is taking place the angle is different the third characteristic is that it depends upon the medium which exists above the free surface of liquid so this is the free surface of liquid here we are considering air molecules now uh, one doubt must have came to mind that this air molecules will also try to attract this water molecule but the attraction of air molecules on this water molecules is very 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 small therefore we neglect these forces of air molecule okay the another one is that the angle of contact changes due to impurity it's obvious if instead of water you are having you are added a salt in it the water molecules the number of water molecules will change over here and thus the forces due to the water molecules will also decrease the another and the last characteristic is that the angle of contact changes with temperature if there is a temperature there will be vaporization taking place and again this water the force due to this water molecules will decrease so guys this was all about your angle of contact and its characteristics if you have liked the video then do like uh, share and comment uh, below if uh, whatever is missing and subscribe to the channel and you will find all the videos related to your 11 12 physics chemistry as well as engineering guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe to the channel